What up boys and welcome back to another video. So in this video, as always, every single Wednesday, we do a video in this series, like 100 runs. And if you guys have missed any of these videos, they're all gathered in a playlist that's gonna be linked like down in the comment section. And uh, basically whatever I do is I just go into every single dungeon in the game. I run it a hundred times. I save all the loot that I'm gonna put on the auction house. And we see how much gold I've made in the 100 runs. So 10 runs, one hour, therefore 10 hours. So we can get like a, I wouldn't say like a really good point, but like we can get a, kind of like a point on how much gold per hour it's going to make. But most dungeons are insanely RNG based. So you can do like 50 hours of a dungeon without getting like those significant items though. So keep that in mind. I've done 100 Karasen runs and made... 100,000 gold, I've done 100 Karasan runs and I made a million gold. So uh, it, it kind of varies by a lot. Like that one item could bump up your gold per hour by 100,000 gold easily. So uh, in today's video, we have BRD, which I'm really excited to do because a lot of people ask about BRD because they always talk about how it's a good dungeon to like fill up the auction house. And it really is. But a lot of people get really confused in BRD and uh, that is extremely understandable because there's so many ways you can do BRD like there's so many there's so many uh, roads you can take so many routes so if you guys pay attention I will show you all my route and we're going to talk a bit about the loot what you can get why I do it the way I do it and uh, so on so basically you guys can see that I do it on the monk there's not really a specific reason for why I'm doing it on the monks it's pretty much just because I like the pulling power of a monk and the people that do BRD the fastest are people who have like speed sets on warriors and demon hunters and hunters and so on. And uh, they just kill loot, kill loot. Like they constantly kill mobs and constantly loot the mobs. And that's a really good way of doing it. I'm personally doing it completely opposite. I like to pull every single mob in the dungeon uh, and then kill it at the end. So if you guys notice, I just walked this way right here. I didn't walk all the way around this boss. I walked in between, pulled all the mobs and uh, the boss. And then I'll just continue on my route. So I kill all of these, not kill, I, I loot all of them. And you're gonna see me kill a mob, like one of these non-elites every now and then. And that's simply just to get the uh, movement speed boost off my bear tatar, the food buff. It does help a tiny bit, but Bear Tatar did get nerfed, so it's not like it's making a huge difference. But it's uh, it's extra movement speed. And I also have the uh, Sentinel's Eternal Refugee, which gives me a steady 25% movement speed. And they have the uh, the Geminim with 3% movement speed. So it's my monk is fairly fast. The only thing that matters, as I've said many times before, is that you do a run within six minutes so you can constantly uh, do runs and make sure that you maximize the 10 runs per hour lockout. Really important. So after pulling these mobs right here, I walk into this door, the garrison door. I do not click this cogwheel thingy, the Shadow Forge lock. I don't. I just keep on going up here, pulling the mobs. Then I'm going up to the, uh, what do you call it? Like the arena thingy. And I pull these mobs too at the arena. It might be hard to uh, get this on the, the first try. So I'm trying my best to uh, kind of explain how I'm moving. But there's so many ways. If I open up the map too much, it's going to be really confusing. Because there's too many levels. So just pay attention to uh, me in the video of how I do my run. And obviously, there's, there can be better ways of doing this. This is just the uh, route that I've used. I've counted the mobs that I kill per run and the time, and I figured out that this was the uh, the best route for me on my monk, though. But if you have a faster class, you might be able to do different routes, add additional mob packs to it, and so on. But this route works really, really well. Make sure you pull all the mobs inside these rooms. And right now, every single mob in the dungeon follows me. Like These guys, they don't run back. There's some bosses that runs back, but the mobs, like the packs, they don't run back. They really don't. Pull these. Statue. That's why I love Monk in this dungeon. Just pop the statue to pull mobs. So good. And like, why you should do BRD is probably the biggest question. And I've said it before. It's to fill up the auction house because BRD has a lot of green items and some minor blue items that sells for quite a bit. They have like a unique 
uh, unique appearance, so they sell relatively fast. Uh, you just kill so many mobs, so the chances of getting green items is really, really big. So uh, I just jumped down right here so the mobs can gather up, and I AoE the mobs right here. There is some big ticket items in this uh, dungeon. We're talking like 150k gold for staff. You can get the uh, world drop epics that can go for like 100k. Then again, you can also go for 2k. It depends on what epic you get. But it's mostly for filling up the auction house. Uh, it's a great dungeon to fill up the auction house. Would definitely recommend it. You guys can see on the massive amount of mobs coming down. It's really good. And by this time, we've spent like right beneath, uh, well, around. Four, four and a half minutes, maybe five if you do it kind of slowly. But the only thing that remains is literally walking out of the dungeon, right? So this is where I loot these mobs right here, and I just walk out of the dungeon and I kill mobs on my way. I will show you guys. I'm just going to show you guys what loot I've received so I can pick up this loot and then show you guys how to exit the dungeon. So these are the items that I'm left with after doing a hundred runs. I've only saved the items that I know I will sell, or if they're like kind of cool and I want to show it to you guys. So first of all, the green items. Alabaster leggings, they always sell together with the uh, Ebonhold boots. Well, all Alabaster and Ebonhold sells pretty well. This one, the Gusama robe. Got a couple of those, sell for 4k a pop of my realm. These boots too, only 500 gold, but worth selling. Same with these, like, usually when you sell, like, Albaster or the uh, Ebonhold, they sell in sets, so you can sell many, many pieces of them. We have some Overlords, Ebonhold again, Templar, Valorous, Albaster once again. Uh, none of these are, like, really interesting. These Ebonhold leggings go for 13,000 gold in my realm. These ropes are, like, a couple of thousand gold each. Transmute life to Earth, and then just, like, more minor green items. So the blue items, if you do 100 runs, you're going to get a couple of blue items. I wasn't lucky enough with the green items. I got this one, Judge's Gavel, two of these. They suck ass. The Battle Chaser Boots, 7.4k each. Do Forge Straight Edge. This one is really strange. It's only for 4,000 gold in my realm right now, but 24,000 gold market value. And I've sold these in the past for up to 100,000 gold. So uh, they're really, really strange, as I said. If you're the only guy posting it on your realm, you might be able to get some big bucks for it. Get a Hanso Sword, 13,000 gold market value, only 600 gold in my realm. These vestments, they tend to sell pretty decently. We got uh, the Battle Chasers once again. These are really bad. Brain Cage, drop from trash, super bad. They're blue, blue though, so I decided just to keep them. We got the Rip Splitter. Which has a really bad value. 1,000 gold in my realm, 10k market value. Bracers are bad. The epics, this is where it gets like kind of interesting. We got the icebreaker. We got two hammer of the northern wind. We got a glowing brightwood staff. Axe of deep woods. And this one is cool. This is apparently a, like a best in slot uh, level 60, like twink item for casters. It's 80,000 gold on my realm. It only has a market value of 24,000 gold, which used to be like 2,000 gold or some shit, but now that twinking uh, in level 60 is more popular, they've gone up in value by insanely much. We've got a Blood Racer, they're always nice. This Trinket sucks, and this Hurricane Bow sucks as well. And then we've got this one, Storm Gauntlet, it's really bad. So overall, 100 runs, I'm gonna pop up in the chat box, use my macro, and the TSM market value of everything in my bags is 216,000 gold. So only 21,000 gold per hour. So it's not good. Like, that's what I wanted to... That's why I talked about RNG and so on. Because I usually... If I can guarantee you if I did 100 additional runs of BRD, I could make more gold than I can right now. Keep in mind that some items will sell for more. Like this ring, instead of 25, it's going to sell for 85,000 gold. And so on. That's going to bump it up by like 60,000 uh, gold. So 6,000 gold uh, an hour. Got another one of this one while we loot it. That's not bad. So uh, yeah, super RNG. But most of you guys, you want to do new stuff for fun. Because you're tired of running the same dungeon over and over again. And I would definitely strongly recommend you to fill up your uh, auction house with some items from BRD. 
because as you probably know, the hard part is not obtaining uh, the transmog, it's selling it. And to easen that up a bit, it's like to, um, to have a better chance at selling transmog items steadily, you want to have as many different transmog items as you can. So uh, if you haven't done BRD, go ahead and do it. And you never know, you might be luckier than me and get some of the actual good blue items, so like a skull flame shield or some cool shit. And uh, this is what I was talking about like running out of the dungeon, when you get to this crossroads, sometimes I kill all of these mobs towards this boss, it really just depends on how much time I have left uh, to make it a 6 minute per run. But that was pretty much it of how I do BRD, how it went with me doing 100 runs of it, and I'm really excited to uh, do 100 runs of another dungeon and show it to you guys. So let me know in the comment section what dungeon you want me to do next, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then. Bye-bye.